Hey guys, it's Burdette and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I will be showcasing another part of my suburban house series. I don't know how long I'm going to make this series, but I intend to make a whole neighborhood and we'll see how it goes. But this is the gray house and behind me we have the greenhouse, so they're opposite side of each other. And so this house has a little bit of a different style than the other houses. This house is 647 and the other house is 648 and those are like mailboxes and I use their colors for the little knobs. On the, I thought I did a nice job. So we have two high brick and then on top we have one brick slab and in between on the this is the end post by the way and in between we have oak leaves stacked too high as a hedge instead of a fence which I thought looked a little bit nice. So we have stone on the floor as a pathway to the staircase up to the porch which is made out of brick and it leads over to the garage area. We have some spruce fence posts um, along the edge and we have more stone to the garage which is not very functional but it's for design and this all the way leads out to the end of the road and we have stained glass panes for the windows on the doors. So we have some window, another window, and two more windows on the front. We have some dark oak doors for the entrance. We have the study, which we have a laptop and a two item frames in between. Uh, and, and in between we have court stairs. We have some bookcases and glowstone for the lighting. And so we can come down this long hallway, which was kind of inconvenient, but I tried my best with the space. So in here we have the first bedroom. This is a two bedroom. We have this little table when we have the bed with a um, which is a gray bed with the little painting and the window that we mentioned earlier for a view. Then we have come in here. We have the bathroom. We have a little toilet with a functioning lid where you could go to your bathroom. Then we have a sink and then we have some storage for your clothes which is like the closet but it's in the bathroom this time. So it's a little different than the first house. So then we can come into the kitchen area. We have this painting with some glowstone behind it, hidden behind the bookcases to light up the room. And then we have some stone or quartz slabs with, um, then we have this furnace with an activator rail with a vent on top, which I thought looked nice. We have this glowstone in the corner. We have two cauldrons. We have the window, then we have some storage out of cabinets, which is item frames with some stone pressure plates in them for that kind of design. Then we have a refrigerator, which looks like that, which can open. And then we have an island with um, light gray carpet on the top for a little bit of an accent look from the rest of the kitchen. Then we have some carpet with some glowstone on top of it. And then over here, we have the pantry where you could store your food and your um preparation food and then we have the master bedroom which is the second bedroom this is only two bedrooms so we have the end rod with a zombie head on top which looks fine on my texture pack then we have a little flower pot and this big painting which is really pretty then we have the first bathroom or the second bathroom and we have some towels we have the shower we have two um, um bath head and a shower head and then we have some stained glass for the shower window. Then we have two vanity um, shower or sink head. And we have a button for the soap. And we have nice windows. Then we can come over here for the um, his and her style um, chest for the closet. And so now we can continue into onto the porch which I thought I did a nice job with just making sure the view is nice and open with a little chair where you could be the living room, essentially. So now we can come into the garage area before we go outside. We have a little window here and a step down area into the garage. Then in here we have the laundry room slash washroom. We have the dryer and the washer. And um, inside here we have helmets, and inside here we have leggings. And if you notice, there's a bucket that's empty and a filled bucket, as this is the washer and that is the dryer. Then we have this painting, a little flower pot with a dandelion. Then we have the detergent holder and a cauldron for the water bucket. Then we have an empty garage for, again, you can fill in with your car or something. And I don't know how to design a car, so that wasn't important. Then we have another side door. 
and you can come up here and out through the porch to the outside backyard area. So and we have this table which is made out of the same sort of design. We have some light gray carpet on top with some stairs and the same um, stair chair design. Then we have this step down which goes all the way around so you can exit at any point out of slabs. Then we have this vine which got really big since the last time I've been on this since I haven't been over here in a while. Then we have two um, dogs with gray collars. Then we have the pool area. We have two little benches. We have this umbrella and we have the pool which is out of dark prismarine and sea lanterns and I love the swimming effect. And then over here we have the um, shed area so we have a nice kind of roof design as the same area over there so we have chests for which you're storing your tools and a crafting table to build things we have our parrots which you can sit which is incredibly unique to minecraft and that's the house so you have this big open area where you could run around and play for your kids and anything else for your pets too so we can continue back through the rest of the house and I think that's about it for this house. Um, this is episode two of the Suburban House series. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next week for series two. This was Burdette Blues, and I'm flying out.